In this lesson, we will look at the other topics under Configure Worksheets and Workbooks for Distribution. And that will include inspecting a workbook for hidden properties or personal information, for accessibility issues, or for compatibility issues. So basically, we are inspecting the workbook as we save it or as we are preparing it for distribution. And really, all three of these items are in the same place in the backstage view. And since it represents, you know, since these topics represent up to a third of the test objectives, then there's no reason that we shouldn't be familiar with these. So go to the backstage view by clicking on the file menu. And what we're looking for is this item right here, inspecting the workbook. So you click on this drop down and you get the three items that the exam is referencing here, inspecting the document, checking accessibility, and checking compatibility. So let's first start with this one, checking the workbook for hidden properties or personal information. If you click on this, it'll prompt you first to save changes. The document inspector might remove data that can't be restored later. So do you want to save your file? You'll always be prompted to save your file. You almost always want to click yes. Now the document inspector will do this. It will look through any comments, the data model content, task pane add-ins, embedded documents, all kinds of things. You can scroll down this list. It's not important, certainly, to memorize this list. And if you don't want it to check something, then you can just uncheck one of these items in this dialog box. So once you've had a chance to kind of scroll through and get somewhat familiar with the items that the document inspector is looking for, especially these hidden rows and columns, hidden worksheets, go ahead and click on Inspect. And now what you'll see is that anything that the document inspector finds, it will give you a red exclamation point. So document properties and personal information, the document author, related dates, all of that information is part of the metadata right now. So if you want to remove that data before you pass on the file to someone else, then you can just do it with a single click right here. If I continue to scroll down this list, you'll see some other items that the document inspector found. Headers and footers, the following items were found, headers. And this is significant because in the normal view, you don't see the headers and footers, unlike what you see in the what you see is what you get type of editing that you might get in, in Microsoft Word. So this spreadsheet does have headers and footers. It does have hidden worksheets, and we've seen that earlier. We have hidden one of the worksheets in this workbook. In terms of the header and footer, of course, we go to the View tab up here and go to the Page Layout and see our header information. So I put some information there for the header. So that's a way to look at the Document Inspector to look for the issues that you specify when you're running that Document Inspector. In terms of accessibility and compatibility, first of all, let's look at accessibility, checking the workbook for content that people with disabilities might find difficult to read. So if I give this a click, it will do an accessibility check here and it will show me any errors. Now errors doesn't mean necessarily that there's an error in the document, but simply that you've got an item that might you might want to address. So for example, in this attendance tab, in this attendance worksheet, I've got an image, but that image does not have any alternative text. So you couldn't have the text describe what is the image that is in the worksheet. So if this is flagged and you get a question or a task like this on the test, what you can do is click on, you can drill down in the error. You can give the specific error a click with the drop down, and then you can add a description or just simply mark the picture as decorative. So if I add the description here, now you can add in the alt text. Where is that in the tab in the ribbon system, by the way? If you click on Picture Tools, you will see that you have this accessibility option right here, and you can add in alt text. So you can describe the picture in this example of what's in your spreadsheet. Finally, the last thing that should be flagged by a different kind of document checker is this thing right here. I've got some conditional formatting in one of my columns, and we'll certainly talk about this as we continue on in the course. But in terms of this objective right here, if I go to the backstage view, check for issues, and check compatibility, what we're checking for are features not supported by earlier versions of Excel. Now, this isn't something that will affect your day-to-day -day life, I wouldn't think, because you probably won't be sending this spreadsheet off to people who are using a much earlier version of Excel. But in the event that you have conditional formatting in this example, 
and you're sending it to someone who's using Excel 97 through 2003, then as you can see, if you read through the text here, the data bars, color scales, etc., uh, the conditional formatting will not appear the same way that you see it in your copy of Office 365. So that's what the compatibility checker does. You can give this a check and uh, specify that you're going to check compatibility when saving the workbook. But otherwise, this is pretty self-explanatory. And what's nice here is that if you do indeed run into a situation where you have something to address, what you can do is click on Find, and it'll take you right to that selected item. And maybe you can change your mind about whatever issue is being flagged. So those are the three items related to inspecting a document that will round out our look at this first objective domain, which is creating and managing worksheets and workbooks when you're using Excel.